Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're having a good day. Um, if you've seen some of my previous videos, you probably already noticed that uh, I really, really like Android. Um, Android is my favorite um, operating system, but uh, it is not perfect. It does have some flaws. Um, unless you're getting a stock Android, which is very rare to get on um, any of the well-known manufacturer's devices like Samsung, you are bound to get a lot of bloatware on your phone which is never fun because if you don't know what but uh, bloatware means most of you probably already do but the ones who don't bloatware is basically unwanted files that are installed by the your carrier or uh, your manufacturer of your device uh, and they put it on your phone as a system file which cannot be uninstalled now these files can run in the background they use your rom they use the cpu power they use your battery and overall slow can slow down your phone and consume a lot of battery which uh, otherwise could be used on more useful purposes and uh, so that's the best case scenario in the worst case scenario some of these apps can collect your data and they can actually sell that data to advertisement companies and that's why they make it so hard for you to uninstall these applications and which i hate about samsung right now that they install facebook app as a system app i don't even have a facebook account i don't use facebook you know and i don't need that heavy facebook app on my phone but i can't uninstall it uh but uh, the only thing you can do with the normal operating system is you can hide it but the app is actually still there so you haven't really gotten rid of it so how do you get rid of these unwanted apps uh, without rooting your phone uh, it's really easy if you root your phone you can actually uninstall the apps fairly easily but it's very hard to do it on a unrooted phone now the procedure that I'm going to show you today it um, this app works with Samsung but it also has other variations which can work on any other Android but the specific one that's going to be in this phone that's only for Samsung so uh, without wasting any more time let's get into it okay so we're gonna go into an app called Aptoid and you don't have to download Aptoid I have made another video about it this is a really cool app which gives you free apps a lot paid apps for free uh, but you don't have to download the app for it I'll leave the link in the description for our direct download what you want to look for is it's hard to see through the camera and type uh, at the same time so you're looking for package disabler pro so you want to click on that and then click on all stores and there we are so we got the package disabler pro there I have already uh, downloaded it so but I'll show you how it works so you basically want to click there and install it so it's gonna start installing the app now and uh, we're gonna click cancel there. It's just gonna start downloading Okay, so that's downloaded so we're gonna install this app now It'll take a couple of seconds to do that now So that's not the only file so once you install package disabler pro it's gonna install another engine It's called PDP engine. So see that's installed so this app is basically rebirth of another app it used to be called ez uh disabler so anyway so see it here it says pdp engines not installed so you gotta install that you're gonna click on that okay i don't know what happened they were generally when you click ok it should take you to a direct link to pdp but don't worry so you all you gotta do is just uh, search for uh p oh, pdp uh, engine PDP engine it's gonna take you back to the same app Aptoid and you just click on all stores again and there's the PDP engine so you click on that and you want to install that too so here we go it's installed so we're gonna go uh, uh, here we go and we're gonna click install here so it's installing PDP engine it's a weird angle on the camera how to film the whole phone all at once so there we go we click open and then we're gonna activate it so we're gonna go click activate okay and we're gonna click there confirm so here's the app so we got the PDP engine there 
that that has been installed as you can see and there's the package disabler so we want to click on that so we're going to open this app and there we go so we got the list of all the apps here <coughs> so excuse me these are all system apps and the downloaded apps so i'll show you um the ones that i do want to uninstall so i've got I've made a folder here so as you can see we got all this unwanted stuff i've got evernote flipboard play a new a new uh, newsletter i do want to keep playing games because i use that uh, for my games but then the rest of the stuff i do not want it and if i try to uninstall it see what i get it says system underneath all of these apps because they have been created as a system app and i cannot uninstall them so even if i try to see click here uninstall up top uh, hang on i'll show you again so if i click here to uninstall it no nothing's gonna happen because it's a bloody system app but uh, let's see if we can get rid of them with uh, package disabler pro so we click on that and we're gonna find one of these apps uh, what was the first one let's say Evernote uh, I think we can search it here too uh, we go uh, ever there we go Evernote so we click on that and let's go back and see if it has gotten rid of those pesky apps oh no sorry flipboard is still there because we haven't actually disabled the actual flipboard that was some different file but as you can see evernote is gone but the flipboard is still there and let's see if we can get rid of flipboard so we click here flipboard click on that let's go back uh, into the folder now the flipboard is gone and now we're gonna get rid of play books so let's go back let's search for play play books right we're gonna get it. play books tv play music play newsstand but that's about it you do not want to mess up with the google play services because that will disable your uh, google play store and everything so leave that alone and you the other thing is you gotta really make sure you know what you're disabling you don't want to disable stuff that you don't want you don't want to because it may crash your system so anyway so if you go in there look in the folder everything is gone apart from play games so yeah it totally worked so i hope you guys like the video and if you have any questions let me know i will leave the links in the description for these both of these files for a direct download uh, but if you want to follow the method that i have used with the uh, downloading them by a search you can do that too uh, otherwise, you guys have a good day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.